What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. It's been a very Android heavy past few days. I thought I'd sort of continue that trend one more day and this is going to end the Android coverage of the week. But I wanted to show you Google Earth that was just released for Android 2.1. Currently the only supported Android 2.1 handset is the Google Nexus One. But if you have unofficially upgraded your phone to 2.1, I suppose you have access to this as well. It was uh, came out, I believe, yesterday, which was the 22nd, and it's a free download in the Android Marketplace. Let me go ahead and jump right in, show you what it looks like. So there is Google Earth. Now, if you've had an iPhone or iPod Touch, you've had access to Google Earth for quite a while. Uh, it's the first time that it's come to Android devices, um, perhaps surprisingly, seeing as it's a Google product. So what you'll see is a very familiar Google Earth with the pinch and zoom. There's your globe, you can spin it around. You've got the ability to fly into different locations. I'll show you some of the menu choices. So you can search My Location, Settings, Layers, and Help. I'll show you what those are as well. If you pick something like My Location, you can see it sort of in effect and see all the fly-ins. It really takes advantage of, I think, the graphic acceleration in the Nexus One. And you can see right where you are, and of course, you can continue to pan around in sort of that globe format. There's a compass at the top to sort of help you with the orientation. You can see the horizon right there. I'll go ahead and show you some of the other options that you're going to get. If you want to search, you can go ahead and search for uh, whatever you'd like. I'm running a, a strange sort of cooked ROM here, so when I try and search something, my spacebar is not there. But I assume if you're running a standard Android 2.1 build, you'll be able to search for whatever you'd like. So there's an example, pizza. You can search and you get sort of the Google Maps functionality built into Google Earth. Let me show you what else your choices are. We'll go back. You also can pull in some of the layers from Google Maps. So places, businesses, Panoramio, which actually pulls in pictures of points of interest and landmarks. Wikipedia, Kevin pulling roads, borders and labels and terrain, sort of your standard mobile Google Earth stuff. If we go back one more time, you can check out some of the settings, which aren't as much as you'd like. You can clear, clear your data or about Google Earth. Now you don't have, let's say, the tilt and zoom functionality that you get on the iPhone or iPod Touch versions, but you are getting a nice uh, Google Earth experience. I'm not sure the utility of Google Earth on a mobile device. It seems more of just something fun to play with. Um, you do get access to some of the 3D terrain and that kind of thing, and it's nice to sort of fly over. But uh, outside of that, I'm not so sure what the usefulness of it is. And of course, we'll rotate into landscape mode as well. Um, it's fun. You can sort of see directions, I guess, in a different way, but. Would I run out and uh, download this or try and force my phone to get 2.1 to get access to Google Earth? No, I definitely would not. It's just one more compelling reason and one more sort of bit as to why you should hound your carrier to upgrade your Android device officially to 2.1. There's a lot of features that you get with 2.1 that you should be entitled to. So, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed. Just a real quick overview here of Google Earth for the Nexus One. Hope you've enjoyed the Android coverage of the past few days. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.